Hello guys, my name is Extreme High Tech, and today I'm going to tell you how to install the James ROM on the HTC Desire 500. You might need some additional knowledge to completely understand this video, so I would recommend you that you watch the video What Does S On Mean on the left, and you also need to have root, so I would recommend you to watch the root tutorial for the HTC Desire 500 on the right too. Alright guys, so before I'm going to tell you how to install this ROM, I just first want to talk about the benefits of this ROM. So there are quite a lot of benefits with these ROMs, for example it's already rooted and BusyBox is already installed. Uh, but uh, it also has the Kangbang kernel which has a lot of features like it's uh, a little system, I think the system write protection is removed, that doesn't mean that it's as off. Uh, but the system write protection is actually removed, which is very, very useful for me, in s at least. And um, uh, the blink feed is at all smoother. You can really feel that it's smoother. There are a lot of battery optimizations that come with the kernel. It's already rooted, which is good. And there are a lot of apps removed that you don't need, like the Polaris Office or the NFC app. The phone doesn't ha even have NFC, so that's useless. Uh, the street view thing, the play music thing, I never used that app. The HTC car app, the kid mode, which really annoyed me because it was always in the way. Because I always hit on the kid mode, which was stupid. So, I think, in my opinion, this ROM is how the uh, HTC Sense 5 should have been. It's not a huge improvement, but it is a improve an improvement. And I really, really appreciate this uh, ROM. So, um... This ROM is basically just a slight modification to HTC Sense 5, but I think it's very, very good and it's uh, well done. So let me tell you how to install it. Here we are again on the PC, and uh, what you have to do first is to open the HTC Desire 500 Ultimate Thread. You will find a link to this thread in the video description down below. And we have to download the ROM first, so let's go to ROMs and select the James ROM. So this is probably the first custom ROM for this phone and it's a little bit different from installing the stock ROM but I'm gonna explain something more after that. So uh, there are two links. The first one is if you just want to download the ROM and the second link is to support him. And of course I'm going to support him but yeah. This might take five seconds. And after that you click on skip. We, and then we help him to support. So here we are at multi upload. And uh, what you have to do here is you have to select one of these one, two, three, four, five hosters. Don't select the upper hoster because that will lead you. You can see. Oh, that's actually a download. I did not know that. Okay. I think you can download it from there. <laughs> okay. You can always learn something. But you can also download it from these five hosters too. You have to, yeah, this Crocotech link seems down, but here you can download it from File Rio, from up to box. Yeah, just download it from one side, uh, your preferred side. All right. And after that, you have to connect your phone to your PC. Right, so what you have to do now is you have to copy the James ROM from your uh, PC to your phone, so uh, open your phone, select the SD card, and what you have to do now is here you have the James ROM, you hit right click on it and extract it here. This might take a little bit of time. And so now you have, you've got your SD card and probably you've already got a clockwork mod folder. So uh, what you have to do is now, uh, it's basically the James ROM is a backup. So um, here you have the James ROM, okay? Then you open the SD card folder here, and uh, you open the Clockwork Mod folder as you do here too. Backup folder, open here, open here, and now I'll just delete this quickly because I already have it on my phone. Good. Now what you have to do now, you might have some backups here if you already created some backups with the Clockwork Mod. If you have some backups here, then remember the number 2014-0301. That's the time when the backup was created. So that was, the I bet, the, fir the 3rd of January. So you copy it there. Remember the number noted somewhere, because uh, else when you restore it, 
you might restore just your normal system so remember the number and copy it copy all the stuff here to your uh, SD card as said here in the backup folder and I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit All right, that's done. So we have the 2014-0301 folder here. You should have these five files in here. And uh, that's basically everything we can do now on the PC. Mind uh, that uh, you might want to back up all your files because this process will delete all the files that are not on the SD card. So back up all your files. Uh, there's a program called Simple ADB Backup can or also called holo backup I already tried that on another phone I would recommend you to use it it it's a very good program but never mind let's go to the phone and install our freshly copied ROM so as you can see here now here I have my phone I already have the James ROM installed everything's nice and smooth and fancy there's nothing much new but all the bloatware is removed and finally I've got the Kangbang kernel and stuff so I really like that I really like that custom ROM but um, let's say you haven't got it installed already so what you have to do then is uh, if you watch my root tutorial video then you know how to do this that you have to reboot in a recovery into recovery alright and now what we have to do in recovery is to flash the backup up there but uh, the problem is before we can do that we have to uh, at first before we can do that we have to uh, at first wipe everything so that it will work so alright now I'm entering recovery right now I'm not gonna do this uh, right now I'm just gonna do this in theory so let's focus a little bit yeah that's good and now let's hit um, wipe data factory reset and do not hit the normal wipe data factory reset but uh, instead hit clean to install a new ROM alright so you hit that and then you confirm with the yes like that yes install a new ROM then you hit the power button I'm not gonna do that right now but it should be enough to explain to you alright go back and after that after that's done I would recommend you to mount everything so go on mounts and storage oh, come on focus yeah alright mount data mount system mount devlog note do not hit the format things these might be tricky but just mount everything you find on there and then you hit backup and restore you hit restore and then you have to select out of these entries they won't appear if you haven't already made a backup 2014-0301 that is very important I think it was actually created on the 1st of March I think yeah that's the 1st of March sorry not the 3rd of January so it was created on the 3rd of March alright that not important alright you make sure you hit that click on it and then hit yes restore good after that you're good to go and then you hit go back go back and after that you can just simply re hit reboot system now and that's it already it might take some time for the system to reboot but after that you have phone should have the James ROM installed as you can see it's pretty easy there's not much work I think flashing the custom ROM is almost harder it's very easy to accomplish and it's a very nice ROM and I would definitely recommend you installing the James ROM because I really like it and it's a much smoother and better experience also it has the Kangbang kernel and now finally I have a reason to I have installed the Kangbang kernel on my phone so I would really recommend you to install the James ROM everything of the blow wears away and it's really good it's how HTC Sense 5 uh, should have been so um, yeah thanks to the James ROM creator I really much appreciate his work and I hope that there are a lot of ROMs will come from him 
And um, I also thank you guys for over 6,000 views on the HTC Desire 500 root tutorial video. That's awesome, thank you. And already for 41 subscribers, that's incredible. 41 subscribers, that's, that's a lot for me. I mean, I don't earn money with it or anything, but I really appreciate that you like my videos and that you want more of my videos. So thank you very much for subscribing and thank you for watching.